Dear students, Namaste. Today, I shall be explaining you about how to describe a surgical instrument in ENT practical examinations. There may be two scenarios. One, the examiner might give you a random instrument or the examiner might ask you pick up one instrument from the instrument set or tray. If you are given one instrument, there is no option. But if you are given a chance to select the instrument, please select the instrument that you are most confident with, that you know most, and a simple instrument. Because if you name the instrument and give the indications of using the instrument, then the vibe will go towards the theory. So steps of surgery, complications of surgery like that. So if you are given the instrument, Memorize for some time and name the instrument. That is very important. Most of the instruments are named after some scientists. So if you know the name of scientists, that is well and good. If not, then tell the name of the instrument only, not the scientist's name. Then hold the instrument in proper surgical or anatomic position that you know of, either with the right hand or the left hand in that manner. If there are more than two instruments, compile them. It is very important to know how to compile the instruments. Once it is done, then describe the use of the instrument, its advantages in comparison to other instruments of same type or similar type, and complications of using this instrument, if any complications. So basic description of the instrument is towards the surgery. Occasionally, instruments can be used in certain steps of surgery, then you should know that. Like goose hammer in septoplasty, tonsil snare during tonsillectomy, like that. So you should know the steps of surgery where the instrument is used. After that, the teacher goes to the viva, physical theory viva, and you can answer whatever you have read. Thank you. Good luck for the exam.